Hello, my name is Richard Kent, and today I thought it would be really interesting to look at DNA. You've heard of DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, which is the genetic code in all of our 100 trillion cells. It is truly supernatural. And when we examine DNA, uh, we don't really understand it. It's the most complex code in the universe. In fact, DNA is the genetic code for all of the 100 trillion cells in our bodies. And just remember, we have heart cells, lung cells, brain cells, uh, kidney cells, liver cells, eye cells, ear cells. But if you just take the eye, every part of the eye is different. We have a transparent skin on the outside of the eye. We have the sclera, we have the lens, we have the ciliary muscles, we have the rods and the cones, and we have the optic nerve, we have the vitreous humour and the aqueous humour. The names don't really matter. The point I'm making is that all these cells are different and are aligned in a particular way, which was, which was put there by God in this genetic code, uh, the deoxyribonucleic acid. Now, the genetic code is actually a geometric code. Um, the codes that basically most of us are familiar with is codes on a computer hard disk, which is uh, basically a whole lot of zeros and ones. Now, God's ge geometric code is completely different. You're, you've seen the spiral of DNA. Well, it basically has various chemicals in different alignment, and it is the, uh, because of the geometric code that it is so powerful. Now, just to give you an idea of how powerful DNA is, if you had a pinhead of DNA, that's not possible because DNA is so small, you can only see it with a very advanced electron microscope. But if you could have the tiniest pinhead of DNA, on that DNA you would have be able to encode all the information about all the cells of all the birds, mammals, fish, humans, and all, every other living being, all the, all the vegetation, and all, every living thing that ever has been on planet Earth, plus all the books that have ever been written, all the scientific research that has ever been done, and you wouldn't have even started to actually uh, use the storage capacity on a pinhead of DNA. Now, if you think about it, it has to be powerful because I've told you about the hundred trillion cells we all have, give or take a few trillion. But I want you to take you back to conception. Uh, when we were conceived, basically 23 chromosomes from dad come together with 23 chromosomes from mum uh, to make a strand of DNA, which is our genome. It's the full genetic code in that single cell for the whole of, of for our entire body of 100 trillion cells. So encoded in that original strand of DNA is all the information about all the cells in our heart, lungs, brain, kidneys, and everything else, plus a whole lot of um, uh, chemical information about uh, body acidity, the oxygen level, our glucose level, and all sorts of other factors as well, as well as healing, because if you fracture your skin or cut, fracture your bone or, or cut your skin, it heals. Also, reproduction is all encoded in this amazing code. Now, I want to tell you something else about DNA. Uh, it has a right-handed twist. The evolutionists like us to believe it all happened by chance in the primordial slime 3.8 million, 3.8 billion years ago. Absolute rubbish. If, you, if it was possible, it's not, but if it was possible for DNA to evolve in a bucket of primordial slime, what you would get is what's called a racemic mixture of left and right-handed forms of DNA. In other words, DNA with right-hand twist and left-handed twist. Guess how useful that is for human life? Absolutely useless. We can only use right-handed forms. Something else, um, I want you to imagine 
two mobile phones. Just imagine two mobile phones. And just imagine that they evolved in the primordial slime. I, can, I think it's stretching your imagination, it's certainly stretching my imagination, to evolve something simple like a mobile phone by chance. However, imagine you now have two SIM cards, one in one phone and one in another. Now you and I know that those SIM cards are programmed by the mobile phone companies so that we can actually communicate with each other. Your mobile phone has its own number and is, is programmed to communicate with other numbers. Now what the evolutionists want us to believe effectively is that the two mobile phones evolved by chance in the primordial slime uh, and the two SIM cards also evolved the ability to talk to each other by chance. Absolutely impossible. Not even the slightest chance that that could happen by chance. No chance at all. Now, the reason I chose uh, the phones as an example is within the cell, uh, the, you have the, uh, the DNA, but there's another, in order to get the coded information to the periphery of the cell, there's messenger RNA to take that information to the periphery of the cell in order to manufacture the proteins of the cell. Now, effectively, the DNA and the messenger RNA are like two mobile phones, but God has programmed the messenger RNA and the, um, the DNA to understand each other. In other words, they were programmed by an outside agency. His name is God. Um, it couldn't have happened by chance. No chance at all. In other words, DNA proves beyond any shadow of a doubt that um, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. All things were created by Him and nothing was made without Him. In Him was life. All life, all life forms come from the intelligence and the design of Jesus Christ. And that's the beginning and the end of it. There is no discussion on that. There is no chance whatever that DNA, DNA evolved by chance. It is totally supernatural. It's a miracle. Just remember that. DNA is a miracle. Thank you for listening and God bless.